Hey guys, Daniel with BattleBox here. I'm here with my good friend Jeff Starling of Starling Adventures. Uh, just got back this morning from a, a flounder gigging trip over in Hilton Head. Uh, had an awesome night. I tell you what, this Buck Knives uh, kinetic fishing spear does a great job. Um, I'd like to know what your opinion is on it, Jeff, uh, as a professional fisherman, because yep. uh, I think we caught 22 flounder last night with it. So. Uh, you know, I think it worked well. It's a great, it's a great product. It's yeah. a great product. Very sharp, uh, very sharp. Good barbs on it. Good holding capacity. Very strong. The the fish didn't. They they. There's no bending whatsoever. Right. When you stick a 20 inch flounder, it's. I mean, it's it held in great. Yeah. No problem holding the fish. Very strong. Yeah, it worked awesome. The only thing kind of to, to to be mindful of is uh, when you're pulling the fish off, those barbs like to hold on to it. So you've got to make sure. Uh, that your paracord or whatever you wrap this with has got a tight grip on it or whatever. So on this stick, this is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Jeff, this is a crepe myrtle stick we found relatively straight, kind of cut an X pattern in the head of that and wedged that down in there tight before we wrapped it with that survival paracord, which you guys should be familiar with from Mission 15. It's got fishing line, uh, brass brass wire in it and uh, jute twine as well. So, so really good quality product there. We can't say enough good things about that Buck Knives Kinetic Fishing Spear. It's a new product they came out with, and uh, we caught a mess of fish last night yes, with it. I mean, a ton of fish. And it held um, every fish great. It, that's exactly great right. We... <laughs> so we highly recommend that. We hope you guys that are pro and pro plus customers uh, really get a kick out of using that, and we'd love to see your videos. You know, send them to us. We want to see more. We're also going to talk a little bit about this Cuban Yo-Yo hand fishing reel. Uh, this is a six inch. They come in different. Uh, different sizes, but this one is a really good size, easy to pack, uh, nice and light. Uh, we tried to get out on the water uh, around 7 p.m. last night, so uh, before the sun went down, so we could try to catch some redfish. We didn't have a tremendous amount of luck with that. They weren't biting last night, but we did catch some some little black tips, some little baby sharks. Yeah. And uh, just if you will, just talk about that. So tell me your opinion on how that performed. It works great because uh, the throwing capacity of it is, is as far as you can launch it. Um, it's a great product. It easy to winds up. Uh, even with the shark on last night, we were able to wind it up and pull it at the same time. The strength of the twine, the the, the line is excellent. Uh, yeah. It, it oh, hit, yeah. hold, holds up great. We're guessing it's 80 pounds or something. 80, at least 80 pounds. Sure. Um, so yeah. great product. It throws great. Handles great. Uh, use it anywhere. Doing any type of fishing. And relatively unique. You know, you don't see this everywhere. I mean, we we, we thought this would be a great product to include in the advanced box. Uh, you know, this is really a new product uh, that Jack Richland uh, from Black Scout Survival introduced to me. And once I saw it, I knew uh, I had to get my hands on it and put it in the box. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And again, you know, we'd love to see you guys feedback and videos on it. A really neat kind of unique product. Um, so moving on from there, um, you know, basic box and up subscribers, everybody uh, this month, as promised, I told you guys I was gonna give you a, a knife in the in the basic box. And this is a Rapala uh, fillet knife, which Jeff is gonna go over here in a minute, uh, how to fillet these fish that we caught uh, uh, here in a minute. Also, uh, advanced box subscribers and up, you'll be happy to know we included another Mora knife. Those of you who are Mora knife fans know that this is, uh, for the price, one of the best, sharpest knives you can get on the planet, Swedish steel, uh, sharper than hell and uh, really holds a great edge. Uh, the cool thing about this one being a great uh, fishing product is it's got a scaler on the back uh, that's going to work great and we'll show you how to use that here in a minute as well. So you guys stay tuned. We're going to show you guys how to uh, fillet these fish up. So guys, Jeff here is going to show us uh, how, to, how to butterfly this fillet that we caught last night. But real quick, I just wanted to get you a close up shot of this buck. Uh, buck knives kinetic fishing spear here. This is the sheath that it comes with. Uh, pretty cool. We really love this product. We can't say enough about it, but got these uh, sort of sort of plastic kydex looking sheaths that come with it. Wee. And it is sharp. You take them out like that. And they just they kind of kind of assemble like that in that fashion. It is a little loose until you cinch it down, but once you lash this onto your rod, it's going to be nice and tight, as you can see with our, our other one we showed you. So just real quick, wanted to go over that. Now Jeff's going to show you how to use this Mora knife as far as, uh, you know, using the scaler briefly. And then, uh, you know, how to, how to butterfly this knife the rest of the way. Uh, go ahead, okay. Jeff. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take this knife here. We're going to use the scaler on the back. 
uh, when we start on the on the flanner, we're gonna start at the tail, and you're just gonna you're gonna use it as a as a scrape, and that's got a good scaling. Yeah, it works pretty pretty yeah, good. I mean, really as a, good as a multi-use knife, multi-use yes. tool. And then what you're gonna do is when these flounder, um, as they lay flat, there's a line down the middle, right here on the middle of the fish. You have to to butterfly this fish on the top so you can stuff it with crab meat to put it in the oven. You're gonna take the line that's down the center of the other flounder and you're gonna cut down to the backbone. I think they call that a lateral line, don't they? Yes. <clears throat> Once you do that, you're gonna actually semi-fillet this fish. Let's go ahead and cut the head and all off this one. There's a yeah. now we're gonna play it off. Get all the remains out of it. Now we're gonna butterfly it. You just kinda slowly uh, yeah, you, you work down to the backbone. Yep. And then you take and follow the follow the rib cage out. Mm-hmm. Getting that get that knife right close up to the rib cage as you can so you get as much meat as, right. as possible off of there. And you just turn him around. Work him back the same way. And that Mora knife is making relatively light work of that. It I is. mean he's it he's just great. He's letting the knife do the work. Um, Just follow that, follow that rib bone, and follow that backbone all the way across. There you go. And that's played out. That's Where how you, you lay it. You stuff it with crab meat and fold it back over. We we'll clean her up a little bit. Uh, next, what you want to do? You going to show how to uh, fillet a flounder? Yes, we're going to fillet a flounder. Fillet a flounder, and I think we're going to go over uh, filleting a, a redfish after that. There we go. Now we're gonna take the Rapala fillet knife and fillet this flounder off the bone. Just a little bit different cut, depending yes. on how you how you want to cook your fish, basically. Yes, and this will be a boneless fillet, is what we'll do. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab it in a gill plate, we're gonna take this knife, cut it across. Then you're going to stick this knife in. Then you're going to run this knife down. Different. Let the knife do the work. All the way to the backbone. All the way down. I wish we had the grill going. That's already looking good. It is. <laughs> That's one fillet. There off, you go. Off the white side. You flip it over. Do the same thing. Stick it in. What this knife is doing is just following the backbone all the way down. And you let the knife do the work. Just hold it moderately flat and just run it out to the end. It should just kind of naturally come up right over the tip of that tail. It I believe, will. Right? It will, and it'll follow that backbone. Mm -mm. I got a bucket underneath here for you, too. Okay. There That's we go. it. There you go. That's how you fillet a, a flounder. And that's good eating, too. Yes, um, it is. What's the, what's the best way you like to prep it? I like to fillet it and deep fry it. Deep uh, fried, there you yes, go. That's how we fried. do things in the south, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Then you just, you're gonna take it off the skin. And just let the knife do the work. And there you go, there's the skin. Draw the skin off the meat. And you pretty much uh, got 
Got all the bones out of that. All the bones out. You just go back and check it and clean it up. That's right. That's one fillet. There you go. And you take the white side and do the same thing. Sometimes the fish is bigger than the knife. <laughs> but it works great even on this big fish. And then you go, you got a second fillet. There you go. Look at her, no meat, all skin. Sweet. My wife would like that part the best. <laughs> so next we're gonna we're gonna fillet that uh, that red fish, huh? Yes. Okay. And you going? What do you prefer to use that Rapala fillet knife, or you want to use uh, that Mora? We'll use the Rapala fillet on it. All right. I'm just going to touch it up with a sharpman real quick, just to make sure. So guys, like I said, while he's uh, sharpening that knife, uh, Jeff owns Stalling Adventures. Um, if, if you're anywhere near Georgia or South Carolina, certainly give him a call. Uh, our whole crew, camera crew, and everybody had a great time out there. That's the third time I've been with them, and every time we take some people out on a trip, they just, you know, can't say enough about it. I mean, it's just it's a lot of fun. We get out there and hoot and holler and and uh, catch a lot of fish. Yeah, and good for a group of, a group of guys, women also, children. And surprisingly uh, uh, affordable. I think he needs to charge more, but <laughs> <laughs> really good. Carry up to four or five people That's right. for four to six hours of trip. That's right. <clears throat> so this is a uh, this is what. About a 21 inch redfish, I believe. 21. Uh, 23 is the limit, I believe, yep. out there in Hilton Head. You got a pretty spots on him. Bronze in color. Beautiful fish, and it's delicious. So we're going to fillet this fish. I think last time we went out, you told me you preferred just slap these right on the grill, didn't you? I do. And, and the way you do that, we'll do this side that way. You'll cut into the backbone. And you follow the backbone down. You gotta get through the rib cage. To cook it on the grill, all you do, you don't have to scale it or anything. You just fillet it off the bone, put the scales down, and you just season the top of the meat. That's all you do. I believe I'm gonna be doing that when we get through here. <laughs> Just clean it up, get the rib cage off of it. And there's your fillet. It definitely, uh, for, for somebody that hadn't done this before, I, what, you know, take a little bit of practice, but you know, maybe after three or four fish, they should probably have it down pat, I guess. Yeah, it don't, it, it's not much. Just ma mainly thing is keep the, keep the knife flat and let the f knife do the work. That's the one thing you want to do is let the knife do the work. It's important, like you saw, to keep a, uh, a fresh blade on these two. You saw where Jeff uh, brought his knife sharpener with him. Um, you know, if it's too tough to cut, stop and, and sharpen your knife. Um, it's very important to have a sharp blade. You don't want to <laughs> try to fillet a fish with a dull edge. <clears throat> And there's your second fillet to go on the grill. Awesome. And, and as fast as that's takes no time with a good knife. And that's it. Well, man, I appreciate you coming down here and showing us, uh, yes, you know, some basic uh, filleting and butterflying of fish from a from a true professional fisherman. Yes. And again, like I said, check out Starling Adventures. What's your website, Joe? Starlingadventures.com. Starlingadventures.com, pretty easy. Check them out if you're down here. Uh, like I said, in the Georgia, South Carolina area, he'd take, you, take your crew out on a trip. We appreciate having you. Yes, we'll sir. see you next Thank time. You. Thanks, right. guys.